Pokémon Black 2 and Pokémon White 2 are far more than meets the eye. Rather than just a repackaging of Black and White, these direct sequels offer a brand new adventure with tons of new content, all culminating in the most fully realized Pokémon game ever created for the DS hardware. While Black and White 2 sport the same visual style as Black and White, the expanded yet subtle use of 3D graphics makes for some epically cinematic moments, especially as the story progresses. Some of the locations are also far grander than in previous games, and the gyms themselves are the most impressive yet, from Elisa's booming catwalk to Berg's House of Silk. The addition of four distinct seasons is not only aesthetically pleasing, but at times actually informs how you interact with the environment. From the fog in the trees to the expansive mountains and caves fading into the distance, this game is easily the most visually advanced of any Pokémon game yet. As you might expect from a direct sequel, Black and White 2 follow the events of the first game, albeit with new characters, a new story, and new and updated areas to explore. While the story stands on its own, it's particularly fascinating for those who played through the first game. This is especially true because of the new Memory Link feature, which unlocks short character vignettes for those who link the game with their black or white save file. Even if you choose not to make use of this feature, it's really cool getting to see what befell Team Plasma in the Mysterious End, and to see how the Unova region itself has changed and grown in the two years since the events in Black and White. At its core, Pokémon Black and White 2 offers the same expertly crafted turn-based mechanics and monster-catching fare as ever, and that's certainly not a bad thing. But supplementing the familiar is a stunning amount of fresh content. In addition to the largest regional Pokédex yet, full of monsters from all generations for your catching pleasure, additional activities make for a highly diverse and well-rounded package. Join Avenue is where trainers you meet online can set up specialty shops with unique goods and services, and Pokéstar Studios lets you make short movies with your favorite monsters. But best of all is the Pokémon World Tournament. This constantly running tourney not only gives you an outlet to hone your battling skills, but also lets you face off against some of the most iconic characters from Pokémon's past. One of the most impressive refinements Black and White 2 offer is the Habitat List feature. A new function of your Pokédex, the Habitat List lets you see which monsters you've encountered or caught in any given area, making it simpler than ever to systematically catch all the Pokémon in the region. The new Metal System is basically Pokémon's equivalent to trophies or achievements, and offers great incentive to challenge yourself on your Pokémon journey. Both of these improve the overall experience in a meaningful way, and it's hard to imagine the series pushing forward without them. Coolest of all might be the key system, which rewards you with keys if you meet certain requirements, like beating the Elite Four. These keys can then be traded or used to customize your own game in various ways, like changing the difficulty level from normal to either easy or hard. This is a Pokémon first, and the ability to alter your game experience in such a significant way is an exciting stride for the franchise. The list of refinements and additions Black and White 2 bring to the table goes on and on, but the main gist is that this game is far more than your traditional mid-generation release. It manages to perfect and expand the core Pokémon experience without sacrificing its beloved and finely crafted roots. It also throws in tons of new content to make for a plentiful, brilliantly balanced package. Whether you already love the series or are just looking for an amazing example of the RPG genre on a portable system, look no further than Pokémon Black and White 2. For more on all things Pokémon, fly on over to IGN.